Hello everybody, I'm Rejected Shotgun, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Shaders mod from Minecraft, which is this awesome looking mod right here. You've probably seen it before, heard of it, well I mean, it's kind of impossible to have never heard of it before. It's pretty much the coolest mod ever. It completely changes the way your Minecraft works, or not works, but really looks, and it's so cool. Probably my favorite mod if I had to guess. So I'm going to show you how to get it, and uh, keep in mind before I do this tutorial that it is really hard to run this mod. And the version that I'm going to show you how to install for 1.7 is not completely supported. So it's going to probably lag, cause crashes, or have some bugs. But it's still a shaders mod. It is updated and has some new features and things. So I'll show you how to get it. Now in the description, I'm going to have three links. The first link is for Minecraft Forge. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. What you're going to want to do is go to the top line. It may look a little bit different on the numbers on the side here, but just go to the top line and hit installer right here. Just click on it, it'll download a file, put that file on your desktop or somewhere you'll remember, and keep it there because in a second we'll be using that file. Click the second link and it should take you to this page here. It'll be a Minecraft forum post and it'll be about the shaders mod. So you'll look for for Minecraft 1.7.2, right under it you'll see a link, click that link, and it'll take you to a post made by the same guy who made it. Uh, and you'll see download a link. Click this link right here, this little thing I'm hovering over. It's a little link. And it'll take you to this. Just hit download and you'll get the second file. To get the third file, click the third link I have in the description. This one's much easier. It'll say download SUS version 10 preview 1. And SUS is Sonic's Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. This is what will actually give us the shadows, the nice bloom effects and things. So it's very easy, just click the checkbox, hit download, and put that third file on your desktop or somewhere easy to remember. So now we have all three files, they're pretty easy to tell apart by their names. So all we're going to do is on the first file, without even starting Minecraft, is we're going to double click it, and it should open up a little window like this. You're going to hit install client and hit OK. It should bring up a little loading bar and say successfully installed Forge. Now there's an error that you could potentially get here. And to not get that error, if you are getting it, go into your Minecraft. And if you log in all the time, or if you've ever used mods before, you'll notice that down on the bottom left corner of your Minecraft launcher, there's this little button here called Edit Profile. And so if you're getting this error, you're normally most likely going to be running 1.7.4. Uh, but if you're getting that error, hit 1.7.2, save profile, and hit play. And this will get you 1.7.2, and you will most likely not get the error anymore. And you can run Forge again, and you should get Minecraft Forge. Now, if we're past that step and we have Minecraft Forge installed, go back to edit profile, or if you've not been there yet, go there for the first time and scroll down to the very bottom, and this is where our Minecraft Forge version will be. This lets us run Minecraft Forge, the mod. So if we hit play, it will create some folders inside of our Minecraft directory, and I'll show you those in a second because we're going to have to access them. And yep, Minecraft is loading up successfully, so we know that we've installed it right, and yep, right here, warning, Forge beta, blah blah blah. Basically we have it, and we have this big mods button. So, we can close out of Minecraft for now, and we're going to open up our file explorer. And at the top here, you can actually click on it, and it'll let you type things in. And what you're going to want to put in is percent app data percent. So that's a percent sign, app data percent. Pretty easy to remember. Just hit enter, and you'll be bought, 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 brought to a weird place. Uh, just click dot Minecraft, and this is where Minecraft is installed. And because we just ran that mod, we now have a mods folder. So go into there, and you'll notice it should be empty, unless you've obviously installed mods before. Take the shader mod core file right here and drag that in there, and now we'll have that. Now keep this window up. I'm still in the Minecraft directory. Keep that up, minimize it, because we're gonna use it one more time in a second. Now we're gonna launch Minecraft again now that we have that new mod we just installed. So we can create a shader packs folder, which is where the mod that controls the shadows and the light and just everything is going to go because right now we're just installing the stuff you need to get that. 
So hit play one more time, make sure you are on Forge, it is absolutely necessary. And every time you use this mod, you have to ensure that you are on Forge. It will not work unless you are on it, because Minecraft won't know that you want the mod on. Okay, so the mod is on, it will not appear in the mods menu, however, because like I said, this is not completely supported yet. So, we're gonna hit quit game, one last time. And we're going to open back up our Minecraft folder. And right here, this is the folder that just got created. It's called Shader Packs. Go in there and take this last third file we downloaded called Seuss. Drag it there. And now you can close it because you have the Shaders mod. It was that easy. So now just open up your Minecraft. And launch it the same way we just did those last two times. Just make sure that, uh, let's see here in a sec. Make sure that it says Forge 1.7.2 and hit play. And just like that, we already have the Shaders mod. It's not any harder than that, it's not any more complex. The only thing that you might want to keep in mind is that this is unsupported. I've said that a few times now, but it's pretty important to remember because you will probably crash a few times. You might encounter some weird bugs, like I think stained glass right now doesn't work, but by the time you download this, that might be fixed. So, go into single player as just a test. I just created a new world a little while ago. Now we're going to click play selected world. Uh, now, I was lucky enough to get in on the first try. If you get pushed back to the main menu, try to keep going into single player a few times or even joining a server. And if it doesn't work after a few times, restart your Minecraft client because you might have a little bit of trouble with it. So, as you can see, um, there are no shaders right now. So since we have all those mods, we can just go to Options, Shaders, and there it'll be. You'll notice it, Seuss, Preview 1. Click it. And there we go. We have the Shaders mod. Now, the last thing I want to say before I end the video is you see these weird shadows right here. Those are the shadows that the sun is casting on the clouds. Now, the way to remove these weird, glitchy, moving shadows is very easy. Inside your Shaders options, you're going to see Cloud Shadow. Turn it from on to off. And the problem's fixed. You don't have any weird glitchy shaders, or you don't have any weird glitchy shadows, my bad. And uh, you can just enjoy shaders exactly how you like. And just to show you exactly what this looks like in full daylight, here we go. We have beautiful water, fantastic shadows, waving grass, the sun is incredibly bright, looks nice. Actually, I don't play with uh, clouds on usually, so it's better off. There are some tricks and things you can do to turn on the those new clouds that you saw, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. But yeah, that's the Shaders mod. This is 1.7 as you can see. So that's all I wanted to show you right now. Remember, you're going to need a pretty good computer, obviously, because uh, Optifine isn't on this right now. Even I'm struggling, and I think my computer's pretty good. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.